What up, it's your boy, Pancake. I'm gonna teach you five minutes how to use Google Chrome like a boss. Here's the thing, you've gotta improve the things you spend the most time on. And I'm guessing for you, it's probably your bed, your phone, and your computer. So I'm gonna show you how to use your computer a lot better, especially Google Chrome, because you're spending all day on it. So first off, how do you open a new tab? Really basic stuff, Command T. So you can see in the bottom left. A lot of the times, guys, if you're not using the keyboard shortcuts, they're so much faster. And if you wanna close that same tab, it's Command W, right? Now let's say you you open this tab and it's maybe, it's like your, like the love of your life sent you the message, but it's gonna disappear in two minutes. I don't know how it goes. You close it, you're like, oh shit, man, that sucks. I guess she's gonna dump me, whatever. Shift Command T reopens the one you just closed. Pew. Command Y, let's say you forget whatever porn you were just watching and you wanna find that again. Command Y, you can search your history and go see that super, super easy. Let's say you have a bunch of tabs. This is one I see that's very common. If you just do command one, you can go to the beginning. Guess what, if you wanna to go to the second tab? Command three. No, command two goes to the second tab. If you wanna to go to the last tab, here's a really easy one, it's command nine. Bet you didn't know that one. That's what people are like, oh, I already knew that one, dick. Command R to reload a page. A lot of you guys don't do that. You're like, let me go move my mouse four minutes later. And by the way, speed up your trackpad if you haven't already done that. If you wanna open incognito windows really, really quickly, don't scroll up here and click it. You can just do shift command N and it will open a new tab incognito for all your special browsing. Command W to close it, boom, we just did it again. Let me show you a few of the Chrome extensions to super soup up your Chrome browser. Number one is SiteBlock. I just started using this right here, it's called SiteBlock. It's super powerful, I've loved it. So what I do is I have the sites, the major distractions, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Reddit, and I block times of day. So in my morning, eight to 12, I block it during the weekday. And you don't realize how many times you start stupidly just mindlessly checking this stuff. And it significantly helped me avoid that so I can focus on things that I wanna actually get done. A lot of you are asking about focus. This is something that's really helped me do that. Number two is Leo. Um, Leo.io, L-E-O-H.io. And I just like it because it's pretty pictures. It's got the time and it's got the weather. And it's got a bunch of you know other things, but those are the main ones I like about it. Just a nice background. Number three is Great Suspender. Sometimes the browser can be slow. It slows down your fucking computer. So the Great Suspender right here if you haven't used a tab in a while, it'll actually take it off, basically turn it off and save your computer speed so that it won't slow down. Auto patchwork, man, this one's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna just show you auto patchwork is right there. And what happens is that as you're scrolling somewhere, it'll just basically reload that next page so you don't have to click next and wait for that next page to load. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but if you're going on pages and you have to keep waiting every time, it adds up. This will save you a bunch of time as you're browsing sites with multiple pages. Number five, pixel block or ugly email right there. What those do is I do it for safety and privacy is that when if someone's trying to send pixels and know when I'm opening their emails or anything privacy wise, this just blocks it. I don't really want anyone knowing. So it's pixel block or ugly email. Number six is newsfeed eradicator. Uh, I love this one. I used to use the YouTube one. Uh, it's called YouTube distraction free, YouTube DF. Uh, and it does the same thing on YouTube. So what this does is that if you go to Facebook, um, assuming that it's not blocked, <laughs> it'll actually remove the most distracting part, which is your newsfeed. And then you just basically only see the things that matter, right? Like your messages and your uh, notifications of things. And this, you're like, you kind of don't realize like all the people you hated before, you didn't know, like before, you never see them again. And so that's why I love Newsfeed Eradicator. You can use YouTube DF, but I actually want to see that because we're making YouTube videos. Uh, and the last one that I really like is Save to Pocket. And so I think a lot of people might have heard of it, but you don't know why you're using it. So Save to Pocket is right here. Let's say my buddy sends me an article, uh, like, hey, you should check out this video, you should check out this podcast, you should check out this article. It's super distracting, and I don't want a bunch of tabs keeping me distracted while I'm trying to get things done. So what you can do is just hit Save to Pocket right here, and what it does is it saves just the content, removes all the ads, and then you can actually access it from your phone at any point in time. So those are the ways that I use Chrome to make it super, super fast. And those are the extensions that I use. If you have any more suggestions, I'd love to hear your other Chrome tips in the comment section. Leave it below. Check it out.